Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'll be showing you how I set up my book cover template files. Here we are in Adobe InDesign, and this is where I'm going to be setting up my initial document. So I'm going to go ahead and name this book cover example, and I'm going to change my unit to inches. The book that I will be working on is a 6x9 book. A lot of times when you're setting up book covers, you don't necessarily know what the spine width will be until the book is finished. I do know that I will have a front and a back cover, so that will be 12 inches in width, but I don't know what that spine is going to be. I could guess that I would have a 6 plus 6 plus, I don't know, maybe a half inch for the total width of the cover spread. Now, this doesn't help me out in the long run if that spine width happens to change. There will be a lot of editing to be done later on. So let's go ahead and generate this and see how it looks. So in this method of creating a book file, um, there's a lot of guesswork. So I could drag guides over here, and I could drag this guide until I knew it was six inches where the back of the spine would be and then drag it out another half of an inch so I know where the spine width would be and then I would be assuming that this is the front cover. This is not the most time efficient way I find to set up a book. Um, I often have to go back and change it over and over and over again and readjust the contents of the whole file. Instead, I'm going to show you a much easier way to do this. So let's go and make a new document. So just like we were before, I'm going to make this the width of the front cover, and that is all that we need. Let's go ahead and create this document. So here, this is the width of our front cover. So first things first, let's add our back cover. I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to now select all of these documents, and I'm going to deselect this option here allow document pages to shuffle. We want them to shuffle. Now I'm going to drag this up here, and now we have two pages side by side. Lastly, we need to make our spine. So I'm going to add another new page, and now I'm going to try to drag it up here. Now we have three pages side by side. If I try to change the width of the spine, we're going to get an error due to the margins. Let's say I wanted to make this half an inch. We're going to get this pop-up because the margins are actually larger than that total width. So what we're going to do is to remove the margins entirely. So we're going to go up to Layout, Margins and Columns, and we're just going to remove the margins completely. I'm going to hit OK. And now I can come back and change the width to half an inch. This is an excellent method because if I ever need to come in here and change the width of this spine, all I have to do is select the page tool over here, select this spine, and then come over and type in whatever the preferred width is. It's very customizable. All that must be done is adjusting the spine. As you can see, the front cover and the back cover have both retained their content where it was meant to be. I'll give you one more trick here as well for the spine text. I'm going to reduce the spine text box to the size of the spine, and I'm going to reduce that text so it actually fits. Next, we want to make sure that this text is centered in the spine. So with the text box selected, I'm going to go up to Object, and then scroll down to Text Frame Options. Now I'm going to do the alignment to the center. This text has moved a little bit, but it's still not quite perfect. So I'm going to go back to Object, Text Frame Options. Now I will enter some inset spacing up from the bottom, and I don't want spacing on everything, so I'm going to deselect this chain here. Then I'm going to click up from the bottom, and we want to see that in preview. Now that text is perfectly in the center of the box, and I will hit OK. When it is time to export this spread for Ingram Spark or for KDP, all you have to do is go up to File, 
export. Now it's super easy to export either the front, the spine, or the back one at a time just by selecting the range. Page one is the back cover, page two is the spine, and page three is the front cover. Or if you want to export the entire spread, simply click this spread button here. In this way, um, you can also add the bleed from this page, um, and you can change several other settings in the PDF export options. But let's go ahead and export this as a spread. So I'm going to click export, and now we can see that whole cover with each of the pages combined into one spread. Okay guys, I hope this helped. Um, if you found this video useful, leave us a comment below, and please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. Alright, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.